I have to say, I just I feel so grateful to have a profession that gives me such uh, personal satisfaction to do basic research, to try to understand how the ocean works, uh, how it fits into the Earth system. Every time we go out on a ship like this, we learn something new. Uh, what could possibly be more fun than that? <laughs>
and up to the link scales of the ocean basin. As you can see, we uh, have been tracking down to the south uh, east for the last several days, and we just made a, uh, a uh, course change here uh, to the east southeast, uh, which you can see Bermuda here, roughly uh, 17 uh, miles from uh, from our initial turn, as we work our way down to our first work site, uh, which is about uh, 45 miles away. This cruise track is uh, specifically designed to go sample the high abundance region in the southern Sargasso Sea and the eastern Caribbean uh, to see if this vertical distribution holds. So that's question number one. The second is if, if there are uh, high abundances of trichodesmium at depth in that area, are they actively fixing nitrogen? So the cruise will be a success if we answer those two questions. And we don't know what the answer is going to be, that's what makes it so exciting. To me, what's so exciting about this cruise is the interdisciplinary nature of it and the team of scientists that we've assembled to work on what really is a truly interdisciplinary problem involving the physics, biology, and chemistry of the oceans. Captain, what's going on uh, today? Well, we're preparing for our first launch of the Mach Nest, which we have uh, idea why the conditions for and we're all looking forward to uh, a very safe and productive uh, day. Operations start today and we're excited because it's been three days of steaming through rough weather and everybody's antsy and anxious to get going and pretty excited so we're all happy. We have beautiful weather, calm seas, it's great.